everyone, welcome back to another Royal High video. It's me, it's Limey, and today we've got a brand new update to the game that involves a lot of new hairstyles, mostly for people of colour, and it is for both boys and girls as well so many many different hairs that you can use and also there is a brand new skirt rework which is for the ballroom entrance skirt so we are going to take a look at all of these things today now quick disclaimer before we start the brand new hairs are for people of color and it's kind of controversial for white people and people who are not african-american or people of color to wear these hair types so i am going to be modeling them on a character who is a person of color and i'm only going to be modeling the hairs to show off for this update today and i won't be wearing these hairs personally unless i am using them for a character who is a person of color because braids and box braids which is mostly a hair type for people of color is not okay for people who are white to wear them as some sort of uh, trendy hairstyle so I'm not going to be doing that and I'm only going to be showing these off on a person of colour character but just bear in mind the fact that I am a white person in real life and I'm just going to be showing these off today and I would not suggest to anybody who is uh, white to put these hairstyles and hair types on a character that is white or a person who is not a person of colour. So, now that that is said and done with, I'm going to be going over everything that is in this update, including some of the new hairs. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the new skirt first. It looks like this in the shop, but I already do own this because I owned the previous version of this skirt and I'll show you what it used to look like now on your screen. And this information comes from the Royal High Wiki. But the ballroom entrance skirt is a rework by Salty Shio or Salte Shio. It has the similar sort of look to it with, but with more details and just a nice updated model and it costs 16,500 diamonds and there is a price difference to the original price of this it's going to cost you this amount of diamonds now to purchase the skirt and it does allow you to transform it from different sizes so i'm imagining a sort of floor length style like this and then a bigger skirt as well so let's take a look at what this looks like in game so this is the skirt right here it's the ballroom entrance of course and i'm going to be putting this pattern on it okay here we go wow this is beautiful and it's very like a fancy 50 style dress i might have i might have to use this for my 100 years of fashion video that i'm working on this is absolutely stunning and a big improvement to how this used to look this is so 50s it's absolutely gorgeous and i wonder if we can color this underneath a little bit darker oh there we go it matches a whole lot better now actually because that's more purple hued i'm gonna have to go with the blue all right i've adjusted the color on this skirt now wow 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 this is stunning this is one of my favorite skirts in game it is gorgeous it's so vintage i cannot believe how gorgeous this is so tissue thank you so much because now we have a genuine like 50s vintage skirt in game it's absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to get a use out of this for the 100 years video i know i keep talking about my 100 years video but i am very nearly done with the research stages i'm on like the 2000s and that means i only have like two decades left to research so i'm very nearly there and then it's like the final stages of recording put a script together it's gonna be so good and i hope you guys are gonna love that video and just um here's a little sneak peek with these beautiful beautiful skirt and i wonder what it will look like with the butterfly heels actually see if we take a look with the butterfly heels it's even more 50s we get the skirt to become mid-length if we take a proper look at this wow it's absolutely gorgeous cannot believe this this is beautiful i love this i adore this skirt i'm going to be wearing it often i can already tell so we do have a lot of new makeups as well and a lot of these i think are for people of color as well so they are going to work with a lot of different skin types i'm going to search in natural for a face that doesn't use much blush so we can show off some of the new hairstyles and there are boy hairstyles and girl hairstyles as well 
well. So let's take a look at some of these hairstyles. We have quite a few new ones. And we have this curly hair, which probably can be used by many curly hair people. And let's take a look. And the way it can be colored is two-toned like this, like the old braided hair. It is sort of a split hair color, which is very, very awesome. Because this is a curly hair, there are a lot of people with curly hair types. Um, so I think this one is okay for people to wear if you are not a person of color. Probably excluding the Hannah and Valentina, which if you have curly hair, may be okay to wear. They are quite tightly curled and they were designed to be a curly hair hairstyle for people of color. So just bear that in mind. But definitely these braided hairstyles, definitely do not wear these if you are not a person of color. I cannot stress this enough because this style of hair has a long history and quite a deep history and it's very offensive if you are to wear them and you aren't a person of color. So let's take a look through all of these and I'm not going to be judging them or anything like that. I'm just going to be showing them to you guys because it isn't my position to be a person who's going to be wearing these hairstyles. So I'm just going to be showing them off and we can take a, a good look at them. So this is a shorter hairstyle and it's in a pulled back style. And then we have the Estrella hairstyle, which is sort of a straight style and that's kind of a long one. And then this one as well, which is the Hannah hairstyle, which is a kind of mid-length style of the braids. We have the Delilah hairstyle, which is two ponytails and it comes with scrunchies so we can put scrunchies in to match. Um, whatever outfit you are wearing. There's the Dominique hairstyle, which is these buns and it has little bubbles you can put in with ribbons with them as well. We have the Jade hairstyle, which comes with bubbles and this is two ponytails and you get little bubbles with those. We have the Summer hairstyle, which comes with little hair clips that go into the hair and they show up on the bun and also on the roots of the hair as well. We have the cocoa hair, which is a ponytail and you get little clips to put in the back of the hair. And then lastly, we have the Nikki hair, which is also a shorter ponytail and you can put little clips in at the back if we take a look at this and they are just lined up right on the edges of the hair. And for bangs, we have a few new bangs. We have these these bangs, which isn't um, a hairstyle for the braids, but we do have some bangs for the braids as well, which is the side swept, which gives you the side swept look and then some little um, loose parts to go on the front as well. The braid extensions, which is without the side swept bangs and then just the side swept bangs on their own. So those three go with the braids and then the Estrella blunt bangs go with these curly hairs, I suppose. Though they can be used with any of these, especially these other curly hair types out here as well. Moving on to boy hairs, we have three hairstyles including a buzz cut which is super super exciting and that can be used by anybody but it's also again these people of color hairstyles um, that shouldn't be used by people who aren't and we have the trevor hairstyle which is this side parting look and then we have this sort of pulled back slicked back version as well i'm very glad that these hair types have been added into the game because royal high was definitely in need of some diverse hair types and definitely faces as well and that is a another thing that can be improved upon in the game is a diverse uh, range of face types i honestly think all of the hairstyles are absolutely beautiful and I'm so glad there is a more diverse range of hairstyles now and I hope more get added in the future and I notice this only happens when you wear the braids because it changes the head that you're wearing for some reason so if I switch between say you know one of the anime hairstyles you can see that I'm back to cheeks face and then when I wear a braid um, the chin returns so it forces you to wear the chin <laughs> if you are using these braids which is kind of like not fair this is probably a thing that happened with um, within modeling these hairstyles and that they were put on this specific package and they won't work with the cheeks face or anything so 
I guess you have to wear the chin face to wear these hairs, which is a little disappointing. That being said, it's a good thing all around that these braids got added for people of color to wear in game because I have been saying for a while that this is a thing that needed to be done, especially with hairstyles and more so with faces. So I hope more faces get added too. And of course I've saved till last the transform to queen version of the skirt which basically makes it bigger and a massive massive ball gown it is gorgeous so if we take a look at the difference it just makes it a little bit longer this new version is absolutely beautiful and you get to keep your heels too so if we put on the butterfly heels i wonder if our little feetsies will stick out from under the dress let's take a look yes they do that's how tall the skirt is let's um go somewhere with better lighting let's probably just hop out onto the beach our little feetsies stick out from underneath the skirt so it's just slightly raised above the floor, which is awesome. And you get a nice cool look at your heels, the butterfly heels. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. Or you can follow me on Twitter at It's Limey. I also have my own Roblox group. It's called The Key Lime Pie. And it has its own Royal High private server attached to it that anybody can use if you join that group. So thanks for watching and I will be back with more update videos in the future whenever the game gets updated and thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!